House of Arms. Uh, this is section R, which is for rifle. So the parts and pieces that you've seen on the table on that first video, we turned into a pistol. Well, now it's turned into a rifle. We have uh, a three by nine Leopold scope. We have a butt stock and a four end that are the coffee color, thumb hole. And we also have our MGM 16 and a quarter inch barrel that's 300 blackout. Now, the 300 blackout is a very universal cartridge. Um, it was first developed for an AR um, so that you could put a 30 caliber bullet in an AR rather than uh, the 223 that's in there now, the 22 caliber. So it has a little more knockdown. Um, and this, as you've seen on the Facebook page uh, on the House of Arms, this would be a good universal round. Uh, rifle for a kid, uh, a dad, and a grandpa. Uh, if the deers in Missouri are killed uh, 75 to 100 yards away. This would be a very accurate 200 yard rifle. So you wouldn't have a problem killing a deer 300 with a 30 caliber. So, well, here's the results of the targets that I shot. Um, if you want to kind of zoom in on this, um, the first ones that I shot were the 110 grain VMAX, same thing I shot in the pistol. These were a couple other groups that I had with different powder weights. Um, I used uh, our H110 again, which the H5744 uh, didn't, or um, accurate 5744, uh, didn't, just didn't seem like it worked very good. But uh, uh, the first group that I had with 110s at, uh, at 100 yards was .543. And these two right here are almost a Dave. Uh, for those of you who know what Daves are, that's an egg. But those three shots right there are a .543, and then I had two extra ones there, and I marked them one, two, three, four, five. As I shot, the group got bigger. So, and then uh, this was my group sighting it in at 50 yards because I had to sight it in because I took everything off of it. So, but that's the group with the 110s. Um, here's the group with the 168s. And there, here I did have a Dave. Uh, one and two are right there, which is, you know, 168s are a real popular bullet in the 30 caliber. Uh, that's what a lot of guys use for the 1,000 yard. And then here was number three. And that group right there with the 168s was .432, which is really tight. That's less than, that's less than a half inch, which any round today that's, that's any good at all, you should be able to get that, uh, that kind of accuracy, which, like I said in the pistol video, what I'm doing here, you should be able to do. That's a real good group with 168s. Now, the last group that I shot, or the last weight that I shot was the 208s, and I had the same thing with them that I had with the pistol. Here's a couple other groups that I had. Um, and then uh, what's, what's interesting with this one, I'll go through mine, but I shot a five shot group, took five minutes in between each shot, just like I said in the pistol video. This, these three shots here are .917. Um, and I used 11 and a half grains of H110. Um, and that was the best that I could get. And I shot, I think, five groups when I shot, shot that to try to get to see exactly what I could get out of it. This group here, I mentioned with the pistol that I had, had my wife shoot, Charlotte. Uh, she shot this three-shot group with that same rifle right there, and she got a 1.019, which that means that you should be able to shoot that too with that rifle. So that's the results of that. Uh, very fun round. Um, I was, I, I've been impressed with this round so far. Marty kind of talked me into, into doing that caliber. Um, I was kind of, you know, leery about it, but, but the more that I've shot this, this is a real fun, ca fun caliber. Doesn't kick much, really accurate. So the next time that you'll see me on a video, we're gonna do section C, which will be the conclusion of the pistol and the rifle. And, and all the targets that we shot and, and exactly what, what we think we should do. So, see ya.